H, J, K, L, and M are points on the circumference of a circle with center O. M, K is a diameter of the circle and it is parallel to H, J. M, J equal J, L. And angle J, M, K is equal to 38 degrees. We are to explain giving reason why angle HJM is equal to 38 degrees. So we want to explain why angle HJM. This angle over here is equal to 38 degrees. So we can see that line MK is line here and line HJ are parallel lines. So because of that, they have an alternate interior angle that is created here and here. And alternate interior angles are congruent. That's the reason why angle HJM, this angle here, is also 38 degrees. So, that's the reason. Then, we also to explain the reason why angle MJK, MJK, this whole angle here, is 90 degrees. The reason is that the line segment MK, line segment MK is a diameter. It was given a question like that. Because it's a diameter, the diameter subtends a right angle at a circumference. So that is why that's the reason why angle MJK is 90 degrees. So, so far we saw that this angle is 38 degrees and this one is 90 degrees. Now we have to determine the value of each of the following angles. Show detailed working where appropriate. Angle MLJ. Angle MLJ. So this angle here, you have to find the value of that angle. So this angle here is in the same segment as this angle over here. So angle MLJ is in the same segment with angle MKJ and angle MKJ we can find it using the right angle triangle M MJK so this triangle is a right angle triangle so that angle MKJ will be equal to angle MKJ we equal to 90 minus 38 degrees because angle M triangle M J K is a right angle triangle so angle M J K is equal to 52 degrees But angle MLG is equal to angle MJK. Angle MLG is equal to angle M. J MKJ. So therefore, angle M. LG is also equal to 52 degrees.
Then we have to find angle LJK. LJK. So this small angle, this angle here, that is angle LJK. So how can we find that angle? Since we know that this angle is 52 degrees, and we can see that this line is equal to this line, so this angle here is also 52 degrees. So with that, we can find this angle that is here in triangle MJL. So triangle MJ, uh, the angle MJL, MJL plus 52 degrees plus 52 degrees should be 180 degrees. So angle MJL should be equal to 180 180 minus 104 and that will give us 180 minus 104 will be equal to 76 degrees now because this angle is 76 we can now find this small angle here by taking 76 out of 90 degrees. So angle LJK is equal to 90 degrees minus 76 degrees. And that will give us 14 degrees. Now we have to determine the value of angle G H M G H M. So we found this angle to be 52 degrees. And angle G H M plus angle 52, which is angle MLJ will be equal to 180 degrees. The reason is that these are the opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral. So angle GHM will be equal to 180 minus 52. And that will give us 128 degrees. The B part of our question, from a port L, ship R is 250 kilometers on a bearing of 65 degrees. Ship T is 180 kilometers from L on a bearing of 148 degrees. This information is illustrated in the diagram below. I complete the above diagram by inserting the value of angle RLT. So, since this is 65 degrees, the angle here will be 25 degrees. And also, since this is 148 degrees, the angle here will be 48, 58 degrees. So, the value of angle RLT is 58 plus 25, which is 83 degrees. Calculate RT, the distance between the two ships. So RT squared will be equal to, using the cosine rule, which will be equal to 
um, R L squared two fifty squared plus T L squared, which is one eighty squared minus two times one eighty times two fifty. Then cosine of eighty three degrees. So now if we simplify this, we'll get RT squared magnitude of RT squared is equal to now two fifty squared is 625 plus 180 squared 180 squared is 3240 so 2 times 180 times 250 equals 83 times 180 Times two fifty cos eighty three is one hundred nine six eight point two four. So RT squared we got to 83931.76 so RT will be square we equal to square root of the square root of 
180 times sine 83 all over 289.7098. So sine inverse of this and this will produce this will produce 38.07 degrees so it means that the bearing of t from r is from here until we meet this line here so this will be 270 minus 270 minus 25 plus 28.07 and that will give us 207 degrees to the nearest angle so the bearing of t from r is 207 degrees so we know when you move to this point is 270 but we are not up to that point we are here so we take away this angle from 270 which is 25 plus 38 from 270 and that will give us 207 degrees please don't forget to like this video more of these videos will be uploaded very soon see you in the next video